Hey Kevin here with another Flip and Dork Flips and Finds video where I show you different items I pick up really cheap thrifting and garage selling and I sell online either on eBay or for local items I sell on Facebook Marketplace and on Craigslist. So anyway today or I should say this week starts off with several eBay sales uh, pretty good like mid-range sales I they're okay if you get several in a day which I had today which is pretty good I also have a local item which may sell pretty soon. I'm waiting to hear back from the guy, but let me show you what sold on eBay. Uh, which one do I want to start with here? I'll start with this because it's kind of boring. Picked this up at a sale, like a rummage sale, a couple of weeks ago. Not really my best find or best buy, but uh, I don't know. I just grabbed it because there was money there and I figure winter's coming up, things are going to slow down. Well, it sold before I even got to that. So. It's this right here, a Microsoft Wireless Notebook Optical Mouse 3000. Brand new sealed, I paid $6 for it, and uh, I thought I could get about $25 for free shipping, so I put $24.95 free shipping or best offer. My best offer was down to $20 or $21, I don't remember which, but um, someone was giving me offers, and they all got auto-declined until they gave me a $21 offer, and I thought it through and was like, I should just take it, be done, sell it. I'll make a few dollars on it, not much at all. And uh, so I decided to take it. So it sold for $21 plus free shipping. It's in a box. It should go first class because it is only 15 ounces. It's probably going to be close to $5 to ship. I have six in it. So it's already half my money there. $11 gone plus some fees. So when it's all said and done, I'll probably make eight something or $9 profit. So not real great. It's a little something, so whatever, it's sold. Okay, um, we will now go with this right here. All right, so let's see if I can show it to you. This is a Sony mini camera, handy cam, but it does the DVDs instead of the mini cassette tapes. You can kind of see it there. I, I guess I can show you a picture if you want. And uh, anyway, um, I got this at a rummage sale. I don't remember where now. But I think I paid five dollars for it. It had um, little extra DVDs brand new. It had the manuals, all that kind of stuff. I tested it out at work. The battery still works. It was in good condition. Uh, it had more value than I thought it did. So for five bucks it sold for $49.95 plus free shipping. Now this one's a little heavier. It's probably going to end up going yeah two pounds nine ounces. So it's going to go priority depending on how far it goes, it might cost me a little bit. It might be, it's going to be somewhere around 10 bucks at least. All right, so still not a bad flip though. Uh, next item, let's go, let's go with this one right here. All right, so I got this at a garage sale um, for 50 cents. All right, so keep that in mind, only 50 cents. It was kind of like an older lady's sale. Uh, you know, if you ever go to those, you walk up, it's like older lady clothes house decorations that are about 10 years out of date that they're you know they updated so they're getting rid of all of it that kind of stuff I did buy a little bean shaped table there which was kind of interesting and then I was able to get this as well which I thought was pretty cool I'm sure it was for kids back in the day this is a uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers travel bag like an overnight bag from 1993 it has a few scuffs but for the most part pretty good condition really nice color combo black, blue, and then the in-your-face graphic. That's the main reason I bought it. I was a little too old for uh, Power Rangers. They were, you know, I just missed that. They were just a little bit too young for me by the time they come around. 93, I'd have been, what, 11? So, eh, I don't know. I mean, I, I knew of them, but I didn't really watch them or anything. Anyway, I just thought the graphic is really cool. People like buying back their uh, childhood. So I thought, uh, you know what? I'll just see how much I can get out of it. I wonder if I can get 25 bucks. So I listed it for $25, free shipping, thinking, hey, I only paid 50 cents. If it flops, oh well. Someone give me, gives me an offer, it's only like $15. Maybe I'll just take it. You know, we'll just see what happens. Well, it's been up for probably not quite two months, so probably like a month and a half, six weeks, maybe seven weeks, something like that. And it sold for the full asking price, $25 plus free shipping. I don't remember where it's going, but it's going to cost, I think, $4.38 to ship. So I'm in it for less than... Uh, five dollars and uh, I mean it's gonna be awesome and uh, my phone's ringing but let me show you this real quick uh, the last thing that's sold is Super Mario Brothers 2 in the box it has the manual the manual st the staples run manuals not in good condition it's kind of coming apart 
the box is kind of messed up. So I knew it was more value than just the game cartridge, but not as good as most of them in the um, in the box because this one's kind of messed up. So I put it up for I think twenty two ninety five or best offer, and someone offered me, and that was last night. I posted it last night, and uh, someone offered me twenty dollars today. So I decided to go ahead and take it and be done. Uh, it'll go first class. It'll probably be I don't know, depending on how far it goes, three something, maybe four something to ship. And this was part of the big cardboard box of uh, Nintendo games I got at Goodwill. I've explained in several videos. I got the whole thing one Sunday night before they closed for 10 bucks. I brought it home. There's all kinds of games in there, controllers, probably close to $100 worth of stuff. I think I've already sold about, or eh, probably sold about 80 something dollars worth already. And uh, anyway, I'm considering this $1. I broke it down into 10 different things I could sell. So for $1, I turned it into 20, so that's not too bad. So anyway, I need to go ahead and get these ready to ship out. I need to go see who just called me. And uh, then I have a local sale that might happen pretty soon. And uh, if it does, I'll let you know. So anyway, let's see what else happens. Okay, so here's the local sale. It's gonna be that green bike right there, the little diamond back that I just got this weekend for 10 bucks. And some guy's interested in it for 35, so I'm gonna take it over there. And then also I had a loser. It's this right here. If you remember, I got a set of chairs and a table that were mid-century. I mostly bought because I thought the chairs were cool and I could sell the tables off and basically have free chairs. I paid, I think, $25. These are cool, but I mean, they need to be wrapped. It's this terrible fabric on there, but a really cool design. I'm gonna keep them. And then the um, fifth one here, I'm gonna rewrap and paint it and sell it. So I'll get some money there. But the dud was the table itself. No one wanted this thing. I tried selling it for 25 bucks. It's got the cool legs. One of the uh, feet is different. It has kind of like a rose gold thing around the edge. And uh, a laminate top's in good shape. I don't have a leaf for it. But as you can see, no one bought for 25. Then I dropped it down to $10. Still no one wanted it. So now I'm just gonna give the thing away for free. Hopefully someone will grab it off the side of the road. So every once in a while I'll get a dud. And this is the first one I've had in quite a while. All right, so now it's Thursday, and uh, I had a couple of eBay sales. I also hit up two garage sales this morning. They were actually garage sales on Thursday. They were open Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I decided to go to them before most people would have time and maybe get good deals, and I found awesome stuff. And uh, also, uh, just to recap on that green Diamondback I showed you, I did sell it. Um, I paid 10 for it, I think, last Friday at a garage sale. And I didn't really know what it was worth. I figured probably like 30 to $50, but the chain and the back gear were a little bit rusty. And then the um, part of the front brake, not the cable itself, but like a little tube thing was a little bit rusty. So I decided to go on the cheaper end. So I listed it at $35 on uh, Facebook Marketplace. And I actually had two guys ask about on the same day that want to check it out. But one's like, oh, I can't get to it till Friday. Could you hold it? Or... Maybe I can have my sister-in-law come, or my mom might be able to come even earlier than that. So I was kind of working to deal with him. And then this other guy was like, hey, I could get it, but not until tonight, and uh, or not until this afternoon. And then when I contacted him in the afternoon, he's like, well, my kid has baseball practice, so after that I can meet you. So I decided to meet him because it would probably happen on the same day, and it did. And I had to go to town. He was in town anyway, so we met at the uh, Target parking lot. It's first time I sold anything there before. And I uh, got the bike out. He brought his kid with them. His kid tried it out. He just about ran into a car in the parking lot, but he said he liked it and it fit fine and all that, so they bought it for 35 bucks. So I made $25 on it, so that's not bad. Every small kid's bike, like a 16 inch and a 20 inch, is sold pretty quickly for pretty decent money, too. Uh, I think I might have sold one for 25 but I think most of them have been like 30 or $35. There was one that was even better. It was. Man, I think I was asking like 100 and it ended up only selling for like 60 or 70 but it was still really good because I bought it for like 20 bucks or something like that. So they do really well. They seem to sell faster than the adult bikes I get. Probably because the adult bikes I find are like low, like really low grade to maybe mid grade. I've never found anything just like mind blowing, amazing for a good price. People around here just buy cheap bikes. But anyway, kids bikes sold well and I made 25 bucks off of that one. Okay, as far as eBay sales, these two items. First thing here, I don't want to take it out because it was not too fun uh, folding it and putting it in here, but this is a Tommy Jeans jacket. I think it's kind of 
like a sailing style jacket like you'd wear on a sailboat. Um, it's got the uh, hood that rolls up and the um, collar and I don't know, everything's like zippered and just seems kind of weatherproof. And I might show a picture of this, but I got it at Goodwill for four dollars and fifty cents. I thought it was going to go for really good money. I thought I would get at least fifty dollars out of it, so I had it listed pretty high. I think I started at like sixty something dollars, and I dropped it down to fifty, and it didn't happen. And that was a long time ago. I mean, I've had this for probably close to a year. I think I bought it last fall, so almost a year. So I finally just dropped it down. Just wanted to get rid of it. I figured this time of year people are going to start buying jackets again, so I put it all the way down to. Uh, $29.95 plus free shipping and I had a guy the other day offered me $20 on it because I think I had best offer on there. I countered him at $25 and then I didn't hear back and that was a few days ago and then last night someone bought it for $29.95 so it sold. And uh, of course you know I paid $4.50 for it. I will probably pay about that to ship it depending on how far it goes and some fees so it's all said and done. Man I mean I'll probably make maybe $15 on it so not real real great. On the other hand, this was an awesome flip. Let me show you what it is. I might have to show you a picture, but this is a box of those Goosebumps books I just bought this past Friday. There's 52 original Goosebumps books. Uh, I got it at a garage sale. It was the exact type of garage sale you'd imagine you'd find Goosebumps. It was a middle-aged couple in a house they probably had since the 80s. They were selling off their kids' stuff along with their stuff and their grandkids' stuff. And their kid happened to have a bunch of goosebump stuff from when they were, you know, they were probably about my age. And when these come out, I was about 10. And they are the original ones. So they are, you know, 25 years old or whatever. And uh, anyway, she told me, because I looked at the, it was in a box and it said 10 cents each or $5 for the whole set. And I was, I was counting through them and I only counted 52. But I noticed that the last book said number 61, so I was thinking, oh man, okay, there's some missing. So I asked her, and she said, yeah, that was a full set, uh, number 1 through 62, but throughout the day, I sold a few of them, and I was thinking, yeah, you sold 10, okay, that, oh man. Okay, so when I looked it up, complete sets go for really, really good money. Apparently, number 1 through 62 is, I think, the original run, I, th I think, and it went for a couple years, and then they made more, but it, it, I think think somewhere around that 60 something might have been like the I think original set but I found some that had sold in complete sets when I got it I thought it was worth maybe fifty dollars seventy five something like that basically get a dollar a piece maybe dollar fifty two dollars a piece but I was able to get a lot more so there was one set that was either 81 bucks or it was 90 bucks or something like that and I think it sold for like two hundred and twenty five dollars there was there was a sale that was about that and it was a bunch of books um, there was there were some that were lots. They had some of the newer the newer versions of these books mixed in, and there was you know I don't know a hundred and something books. And they were trying to sell for like three hundred and something dollars. So I figured they go for really good money. I had fifty two. There was a set of forty something. It might have been forty nine, and I think it sold for like one twenty five. So I was thinking, wow, okay, I got more than that. And that other one sold for like over two hundred. Maybe I could go somewhere in between. So I decided to ask $164 free shipping and I put a best offer. I think I dropped it down to that $125 and I got a uh, offer last night for $130 that come through. So as soon as I saw that, I accepted it immediately and then this morning, or actually a little while ago, I guess it'd be afternoon, they paid for it so I can finally send it out. So that's awesome. It turned five bucks into $130. Now, I considered completing the set, like I was missing book number 7, 31, 40, 42, 45, 48, 52, 59, and number 60. And I started looking some of these up, and I was like, oh, wait, that book, just to buy it alone, is like 10 bucks. Uh, okay, this one they're asking, you know, 15.95. Let's see, if I buy 10 bucks, am I really going to add an additional, you know, do I want to put like $60 into the set to maybe sell it for... 225 something like that you know it's probably not worth it so I decided just to sell as is and whoever buys it can try to complete it from there so that was really cool so 130 bucks and uh, I'll be able to ship it media mail because it's books which will make it a little cheaper so it shouldn't cost too too expensive to send out so that's not too bad okay so that is the eBay sales now let me show you what I found garage selling today 
So even though it's a Thursday, there was a couple of sales. I went to them early before everyone else could check them out, and they ended up being pretty good. So let me do a little rearranging here. As you can see, I got a bunch of shoes and I got some video games. Now the first sale was actually in a pretty rough part of town, and it was an older lady that was moving. It was a it was a house with a basement. It was on this really steep hill. She said she had her yard was a steep hill. She said she had back issues and she was moving, trying to get rid of everything. She's moving to a one level apartment, and downsizing, getting rid of a bunch of stuff. She told me that her grandson used to live with her. Uh, I don't know why, but anyway, used to live with her and he had some video game systems that he played and she told him that if he would help her around the house and do some yard work and clean the gutters and all kinds of stuff that she would buy him a PlayStation 4. And she said she was impressed. He did like way more work than expected. So she bought him his PlayStation 4 and he decided to sell off his other stuff. So I showed up, she had a bunch of games sitting out. I might go back tomorrow, see if she has more because some of them were pretty good. There's probably, they were older systems. So it was PlayStation 2 and Xbox. There was probably like 20 games. There's also some like PC games, which I didn't really look into because I don't know if those have value or not. But of the 20, there was five really good ones, at least that met my standard. And my standard on video games, most items I'm trying to do like $30 and above. Lately, I've been kind of doing like $20, $25 and above profit. That's after you buy it, after you ship it. But with video games, I figure if I can sell one, if I can get it cheap enough, you know, uh, 50 cents, a dollar, and it will sell for 15, even if I have to pay shipping, and I make like nine, ten dollars profit, I'll do it because video games seem to sell pretty quickly, at least the decent ones I've found. So I was looking through and uh, I found five good ones, and I, I made a pile. And if it was a good one, I went over here. If it was a bad one, I put it in this pile. And I actually looked them all up on my phone. Made sure that I, you know what I was buying because I don't really know them too well. And somehow I got it mixed up and I, and I bought a dud. This one is not very good. It goes for in really good condition, complete with the manual, which one this one doesn't. And this one was a rental. They go for like $8.99. So I saw one that sold for $0.99 cents plus shipping. Another one was like $5. So this one was a total dud. It's Xbox, The Chronicles of Riddick. Somehow I mistakenly grabbed this one instead of the other one that's good, so that's another reason I might want to go back, see if I can figure out which one it was. So that one was a dud. These others are pretty decent though. These two meet my bare minimum I'd like on a video game. They're both Xbox, they're both Star Wars games. This one's Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, so it's Star Wars 2, or Knights of the Republic 2, whichever. Um, it's the game and this little writer, but it does not have the manual. And uh, I paid a dollar for it, and it looks like I can get probably like maybe fourteen dollars, fifteen dollars, somewhere around there. So that's about what I'm looking for, about fifteen dollars. Same thing for this one, Star Wars Battlefront Two. Uh, this is disc only, with or, well, you know, no manual, but so it's a case and a disc. About the same, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen dollars, something like that. So it should sell all right. Now these two are actually really good. All right. Problem with this one is it was also a rental. There's no manual. Um, it had rental stickers on there, which I cleaned off, except, um, well, no, I did. I cleaned them all off. But you can tell that it sat in, like, the sun a lot because the back is all bright and vivid, and the front is faded out, and the white has yellowed a little bit. So I think that could hurt value. But again, I paid a dollar. This one is PlayStation 2 Drakengard 2. And I looked this up, and it should sell between $20 and $30 if it was complete not a rental and it had the manual and if there was a little writer sheet or something added to it um, so totally complete like closer to forty dollars but this one um, I did see one just like this that was the game in case only but it was not faded out and it did sell for $29.95 I think free shipping so mine I'm thinking I know for sure I, I think I should get 20 but I'll try to ask 25 I might go ahead and do that $29.95 put a best offer at 25 and then you know, I'll get one or the other. That might be what I try. But uh, anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. Definitely has that anime look, which is what I've been kind of looking for when I look at games. It's one I've never heard of before. Kind of anime looking on an older system. Seems like they do pretty well. Now this lady had, or, or technically her grandson, had a bunch of games like that. And some of them weren't worth very much. So I definitely looked them all up. Now this ended up being the best one. It's not really anime looking, but it definitely has that like comic book look to it. And this one is actually complete, totally complete. So it's got the writer, it has the manual, it has the disc in really, really good shape. 
like amazing shape. The case is in good shape, so I should be able to get top dollar for this one. So this is Xbox Arcs Fatalis Enter a World of Darkness Like No Other. Uh, anyway, paid a dollar for this one. I looked it up. Let me remember here. This one should go for somewhere between thirty-five and forty dollars. I think. I think I might go ahead and try to ask thirty-nine ninety-five and see if I can get it. So that's pretty cool. So in total, even with the dud, I think total sales it will probably be almost a hundred dollars. Now profit won't be there, um, but it'll be close. I don't know what would I make. Uh, 65 75 80 dollars profit something like that maybe somewhere in there probably 60 something so it's not too bad off of five dollars worth of games okay now the shoes were a different story it was in a totally different neighborhood in town it's actually a really nice neighborhood it's kind of out of the way a little bit i've been there several times before i've bought some nice stuff now that i think of it it's the same neighborhood where i bought that diamond back last week and uh, I've, I, I've bought a lot of good video games in the neighborhood and uh, electronics and things like that. Well, this time it was a sale. Uh, it was two ladies, and I don't know if it was their son or nephew, but he had a whole bunch of clothes and shoes he was selling. Probably almost half of them were new, never worn. It was all... Like his shoes were all Nikes, or these are the Fox Racing. He had some Adidas. So he had this huge shoe collection. The lady said he probably had like 200 pairs of shoes uh, put away in his room. And then uh, he had all kinds of like golf shirts and shorts and all this kind of stuff that I could have looked through. Probably could have got good value out of them. I don't know. They were, they were cheap. You know, they're only a few dollars at the sale and they were worth good money. I didn't mess with the clothes. I just looked at the shoes. And uh, some of them were worth really good money. Now, all the shoes I bought were all brand new, never worn, part of his collection. She said he liked to buy shoes that matched the clothes, and they were all just crazy colors. So this guy was, like, into color. So he probably had, there was probably a, 15 pairs of shoes out in the sale. They said they had a sale before, and he, he sold a bunch off of his collection. He's trying to thin it out. Uh, most of them were worn, but these were all the ones that were still brand new that had the most value. So I'll start with the ones that are not as great. Um... Let me see here. Did I write these down? You know what? I got them on my phone. I'll look it up because I'm trying to remember exactly what it was. Um, let me find it here. So these are Fox Racing. They look the same to me, but I guess they're a little bit different. So you got the black and the gray pair, and you got the orange and the black. And um, here we go. All right. So the orange pair here. Oh, by the way, let me let me backtrack a little bit. So they're all brand new, unworn. $25 each. The ones that were worn, whoops, someone called me. Okay, so anyway, the ones that were worn were $15. I looked them all up. There was one pair that might be worth $60, $65, but I don't know. They were a little more worn than I was willing to accept, so I decided to pass on those. But then all these new ones I looked up, and they were worth pretty good money. Okay, so anyway, $25 each. I got a better deal. I'll explain in a minute. But this pair right here, the orange and black ones, these are Fox Racing uh, Motion Elite 2, orange and black. These sell for brand new $81.26. I got them cheaper than $25. I'll explain in a minute. Okay, this pair right here, the black ones, are uh, same thing, Fox Racing Motion Elite 2. These sell for $85.74, brand new. All right, then we get into the good stuff. So these are brand new, never worn. These are Nike Air Max, uh, the 2016 Blue Lagoon uh, shoes, anyway. So these are, what, two years old. He's never worn them, so I guess he was kind of a collector. Or he just liked buying or whatever. He was asking 25 bucks. I looked these up. Brand new sold comps. Here's one they took an offer less than $127.77. Here's a pair brand new that sold for $169.99. Here's another pair new that sold for $149.88 plus $9.26 shipping. So we're going to guess probably bare minimum $125, but I think I could probably get about $150 out of these. And I paid less than $25. Okay, these right here are Air Jordans, all right? They even mentioned that in their listing when I found their sale. It did say Jordans. I didn't think they'd be there when I got there, but they were brand new, never worn, same thing. They're asking $25, brand new. 
I looked these up. These are even better. Sold comps on here, brand new. This pair sold for $189 plus $14.15 shipping. This pair sold for $179.95 free shipping. And this pair down here sold for $159.95 brand new free shipping. So same thing with these. Probably could get about same price, $125, $150, but I think I can go higher on these. I, hmm, I don't know. They don't have a box. That might hurt value a little bit, but I'm going to say at least $160, but I will try to shoot for about $175. We'll see if I can get it, plus free shipping. That's, I think, how I'll do it. So that's pretty cool. So anyway, they were asking $25 for all these brand new unworn. I put them all together. I said, since I'm buying all of them, can I get a better deal? And I was hoping to get them for $20 each, so I'd pay $80. So the guy showed up. So he was gone while I was looking at all these. And as soon as I'm about to pay, he shows up. And they're like, well, let me ask him what he do better. So he looks at him. He's like, man, I'm telling you, like, some of them shoes are worth good money. Like that pair right there. And he pointed to one of these. He's like, I paid 90 bucks for those. So I'm thinking, oh, man, this guy knows what he's got. He's like, how about 90 bucks? So instead of 100, I was going to give him for 90. I was like, would you consider $20 a piece? He's like, no, I can't do that, man. That pair right there is like 90 bucks. I said, all right, I'll do your 90. So I paid him $90 for these shoes. And like you saw, it's like about $300 for these shoes. These are about 80 each. That's another $150. So we're talking like total sales, 450. But profit wise, you know, it'd be less than that. Probably just under $400, maybe 360, 370 something. And then, like I said, I have these games here that should be around 100 total sales. So in total, the sales should top like 500 bucks off of two garage sales. Profit-wise, though, I'm thinking $400, maybe higher, 425, something like that. Pretty awesome. I only spent 95 bucks, so I can turn 95 dollars into like a little over 400 dollars, pure profit after fees, after shipping, all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty awesome. So anyway. That's just Thursday, so who knows what's going to happen Friday and Saturday. I hope that's pretty good. So anyway, let me get these prepared to ship out, and we'll see what else happens. All right, so now it is Friday, and weirdly enough, I did not have any local or eBay sales last night. It was kind of slow, but that's good. I was able to get caught up on some other stuff. So today I did some garage selling, and here are the local items I picked up. As you can see, I have a matching set of uh, tables here, a coffee table and an end table. Um, Kind of interesting. They got the roll-out drawers. Um, I think it's real wood. It's a little bit scratched up. You can kind of see here. Just a little bit. So I'll clean it up with some old English and uh, make it look a little bit better. And uh, it's got the little metal base and it's, eh, you know, I mean it's not like the most stylish thing. But someone out there is going to like it. I tried to get it as cheap as I could. And I uh, got them both together for $35. I would have preferred to pay about $20 or $25. But... I showed up when the lady opened, I tried making a deal, and she was like, no, I'm sorry, you know, it's the first day of the sale, the first hour, I just can't go lower, so I got them for 35 bucks. So I, I know I can double my money on them at least, and uh, hopefully I can do a little better than that. I'm probably, depends how well they clean up, I'll try to ask about 80, 85, something like that, and hopefully get at least 70 or up. Okay, now this one over here is actually really cool. This is another cedar chest, but this one's actually fairly decent the interior is really cool all right so it's a lane which is pretty nice and it has the um, velvet lined shelf I've never seen that before just a really really nice interior aromatite presser pressure tested the lock still works it has a really cool mid-century design which I think people are gonna like the main problem with this one is the top is really messed up it's got a lot of water damage so I'll try to fix it with some Old English, make it look a little better. But I think whoever gets this is going to have to refinish it. And I paid 25 bucks for it. And if it was in really good condition, like the top wasn't messed up, man, that would be over 100 bucks. But I don't think I'm going to get that, so I'll probably ask about 80, 85, and we'll see what happens. I Hopefully I can get at least like 60, 70 bucks out of it. But uh, that was pretty cool too. So now let me show you the stuff I got to throw on eBay. All right, so now it is Saturday. I did even more garage selling. I finished up, so now I can show you all the stuff I picked up garage selling this weekend. I actually got a bunch. Now I showed you items I picked up Thursday morning, which was interesting that there were sales. But then Thursday afternoon, there was more sales, and I went and checked them out, and here's some of the stuff I picked up. Uh, 
I guess I'll start over here. So these were um, at a sale. They're only asking five cents each. These are beech nut chewing tobacco frisbees. Not in real great condition, but I got them for free. They were only asking a nickel each, and I just threw them in the deal when I bought something from them. So I looked these up. If they were in good condition, they actually sell for about fourteen ninety five of free shipping on eBay just each. So if they were in awesome shape, I mean this would be twenty five thirty bucks. But because they're kind of rough, I'll clean them up. But they're pretty scratched up and all that. Eh, I don't know for free. I'll see if I can sell them both for you know maybe maybe fifteen dollars. I don't know if someone will pay quite that much, but we'll see. Maybe twelve ninety five, thirteen ninety five, something like that. So I figured. You know what? They're free. I'll try them out see what happens. Okay, at that same sale, I got this right here. And they were asking 10. I was really hoping to get it for 5 because there's no way to test it. I don't have any of the cables to plug it in to see if it powers up, any of that kind of stuff. So I'm just taking their word that it worked when they took it off of a boat. But this is a Hummingbird uh, GPS Fish Finder number 161. And the only thing I know it can do is come apart here. Other than that, I can't turn it on or anything. Supposedly it works, but I don't know. So they're asking 10 bucks. I was hoping to get it for five and they wouldn't budge hardly at all, but I did get it for nine. So I got it a little bit cheaper. And uh, I tried looking up comps and I couldn't even find one. So that's what that's where I was kind of like, man, I, I know at $9, it's gotta be worth more than that. But I don't know how much because I can't test it and I can't find an exact comp but a similar-ish comp, the same brand, just a, a different model number. Uh, there was one that sold, it was like $100, but it, they showed it was working and all that kind of stuff. So this one, basically, I will sell it as parts repair only because I have no way of testing it. I'm hoping I can turn it for about 45, 50 bucks, something like that. Maybe 60, that might be pushing it though for not testing it at all, but hopefully somewhere around 50. And uh, you know, I paid nine and shipping and all that. So I could probably make over $30, $30 on it, but I don't know, I just couldn't pass because it just seemed like one of those items that could do really well. But then when I realized there's no cables, I was like, ah, okay, well, we'll see where it goes. Okay, so that was at one sale. At a different sale, I found, uh, you know what, these are from something else. Okay, this stuff right here. I found, oh, that was with that one. Okay, here we go. All right, I found these three items right here. Two remotes and a radar detector. All right, so we'll start with this one. This is a NB100 remote. I just now noticed it's kind of yellowed, so that might hurt the value on it. It's for a, uh, I think it's a DVD player. I don't remember what brand now. Hmm, Sylvania, that's what it was, a Sylvania. Uh, anyway, I just looked up NB100 remote on eBay and looked up sold comps, and these actually were selling for about, there was one that had sold for $19.99, most of them were like $12.99, $14.99. I got it for $0.25, cents, but this one's a little yellowed, so, um, man, it might actually hurt it to even sell in the first place. But if it does sell, probably around $10 to $12, something like that. So this is one of those items where uh, it definitely doesn't meet the $30 I'm looking for, but things are going to really slow down. I got hammered with tons of sales this weekend, and it's probably going to be next weekend, and then they're going to really drop off. So I'm trying to hit as many as I possibly can so I can get as much as I can to kind of hold me over the winter. So for you know a $10 flip, eh, normally I'd pass on it, but this time I decided to grab it. Okay, this one's actually better. This is a Technics Audio Remote, um, the EUR644347. I looked this one up. It was selling between $25 and $29. And I need to clean it up. And same thing with that remote. I'll clean it up, put new batteries, test it. Basically, hold you. I take my cell phone, I put it on the uh, camera mode, and then I do the um, front-facing screen, kind of like you're taking a selfie or whatever. And then with batteries in there, if you push a button into the camera, you should see this little thing light up. Usually it's like a purple color. That's how you know it's working. If it doesn't make it, you know, it doesn't look like it's lighting up at all, it's probably not going to work and you might as well throw the thing out. So I got this for 25 cents as well. And man, this could be 25, 30 bucks. So that's pretty cool. And then finally, at that sale, I got this. So this is a uh, radar detector and a uh, Escort 9500 IX Passport. Um, I don't know anything about radar detectors, so when I looked this up, I was like, wow, okay, that's awesome. That's worth really good money. Now, all, all three of these things were in a bucket of cables and all kinds of stuff, 
and it said all cables 25 cents. So when I pulled these items out, I was like, well, they're not cables. I wonder if they'll, I could really get these for 25 cents. Well, these two I did. This, they, they said, eh, we'll take a dollar for that. And the guy's like, yeah, about five years ago, that was top of the line. And uh, he's like, but I haven't used it in a while. I don't know if it really works or what. So I said, okay, well, for a dollar, I'll try it out. So I uh, paid a dollar, uh, put it in my van when I left, plugged it in, and it works, okay? It's, I mean, it's a little scratched up, but not bad at all. I can definitely clean that, make it look a lot better. But anyway, sold comps were awesome. They were... I think it was $89 plus shipping. So it was like over $90 for this thing I got for $1. Now mine's maybe not quite in the same condition as the one I saw. Of course, it, I don't know, it's not as scratched up as I thought. So, I mean, I think a bare minimum, I, I hopefully I can get about 75 bucks. It would be awesome if I could get more, 80 something dollars. I don't know. So that's a great flip for $1. So like over a hundred bucks off of that one sale. Okay, so that was Thursday, so now let me show you the items I picked up on Friday. Okay, so then on Friday, I already showed you the local items I picked up, that cedar chest, mid-century modern, has a lot of views, don't ask them, or had one person ask about it, but that was it. And then those two, the matching coffee table and end table, uh, eh, kinda, I don't know, not the best looking stuff, but they're not bad, they're in pretty decent shape. And uh, that got them kind of cheap, so I'm hoping to make a little money. Not great. I don't know. Local stuff has not been doing that great lately. I've been finding really good stuff to throw on eBay. So I'm definitely going to kind of start focusing on this stuff more and only do local items if it's like really, really good stuff. Because the low-end stuff is just not moving like it used to. So anyway, here's the stuff I got on Friday. Um, I'll start here on the floor just to... Uh, so I can get them out of the way. So this was at one of the last sales I went to on Friday. This right here is an old video camera. All right, so it's in a leather case, which is pretty cool. And it has the uh, charger, it even has a tape. This is a Hitachi VM-E58A. It's got Duracell battery on there. I will definitely have to check it out. Basically plug it in, see if the battery holds power. If not, then see if it'll at least run plugged into the wall. But uh, I mean, hopefully it works because it had pretty good value. So they were asking $15, all right? So this thing is like super outdated. No one else in town is gonna buy this, this thing except me. I mean, no one else is buying this to use. If it, someone buys it, they're flipping it like me. And it sat there for a couple days during the garage sale until I think Thursday and Friday until I got there at the end of the day. All right, so they're asking 15 and I looked it over, looked up comps, was like, wow, okay, this thing has actually got pretty good value. So I asked if, uh, I was like, hey, I'm interested. Could you do a better deal? And they were looking, they're like, well, give me an offer. So I don't, I usually don't like putting out the first number because I want the, I want to see how low they will go. And sometimes you can be a little insulting if you go too low, but I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna do it. So I was like, how about $5? And uh, and uh, the lady was kind of like, like this. She was probably 50 something and then her dog, eh, probably 40 something and then her daughter was there she said she bought this when her daughter was born she looked like she was high school age and then the lady's mom who was probably 70 something or so upper 60s uh she looked at her and she was like oh no you that you can't do that that's too low i'm thinking who and who else around here is going to buy this camera from me you know i mean no one's going to buy this thing except for me to flip it but whatever so she was like well how about ten dollars i said oh, okay i'll do ten so got it for ten bucks I looked up the comps. They were going for about eighty to a hundred dollars for this thing. So hopefully it works, and I can get really, really good money out of that. So that's pretty cool. And the others that sold did not have the leather case. So if this one worked, I think I could get like a hundred bucks out of it. Okay, uh, I'm a little bit all over the place here, but I just want to get the stuff off of the floor. So this one right here, big box. I'll show you the signs. So you can see exactly what it is. These are Bionicles. Check that out. Five dollars for the whole box. Look how many's in there. I bet each Bionicle was five bucks at least. All right, that is a whole lot of Bionicles. I don't know anything about them. There we go. That's a transformer right there. So I might have to go through it because it looks like there's some other things mixed in, but it is mostly Bionicles, which I am not familiar with at all. But I was thinking, you know what? I've sold uh, old vintage Ninja Turtles for a whole bunch of money. I've sold almost all of those vintage Transformers except for three little cassettes, which I, I guess I'm asking too much. They haven't moved yet. 
So there's got to be some value in these, and it's only five bucks. I mean, there's, it's got to be way more than five bucks. I can just basically dump them out on the ground, kind of spread them out, just take a picture, just sell them as is, no work or anything, and uh, we'll see where they go. You know, for five bucks, hey, maybe I can get 50 bucks out of them. I looked it up, and I uh, looked up Bionicle lots for sale on eBay, and they were selling them by the pound for a whole lot of money. They were selling, I saw one, it was like 50 pounds of Bionicles, and it was like over $300. And then there was one that was, I think, 30 pounds of Bionicles, and it was 225 or 250 or something like that. So they go for a lot of money. So I might need to kind of look into them a little bit to see what I have, but I think I might be able to turn these for like over 100 bucks. All right, so I don't think I have 30 pounds. I don't have 50 pounds, but I mean, this could be 15, 20 pounds. So that's why I'm thinking, you know, this could be $100, maybe $125, $140, something like that for shipping. Maybe $150, $160 free shipping, maybe. I mean, I could be way off, but I think they will go for over $100. Bucks. So that was really cool. All right. All right, so now I'll show you the other stuff. So this thing right here is a Sony CD player. The, uh, what's the number on that? Oh, yeah, the Sony d nf 610. Now this one's kind of scuffed up, so it's not going to go for as good as money as the ones most of them I saw all the comps. Also, I need to test it out. I did clean it up a little bit. I need to test it with new batteries and see if it works. If it does work, great. It'll go for pretty decent money. If not, it'll probably still sell for parts. So I got this for, hmm, now I'm trying to remember. Was it 50 cents or a dollar? I don't know. It was either 50 cents or a dollar. If it was in good condition and works, it's about 25 to 30 bucks. But I think in this condition, it's probably like $18.95 to maybe $21, $22. So somewhere right around 20 bucks is probably what I could get out of this if it works. If it doesn't work, I could probably still get 10 to 15 bucks, you know, parts only, something like that. So that's not too bad. Okay, I also found this. This is another old school hot roller set. Uh, I need to clean it up, it's a little bit dirty. All the rollers are there. I'm not sure all the clips are there. All right, so it still should sell. I need to test it out, clean it, make it look good. I uh, got it for, it was $3, but I think I asked her if I could get it for two. So I think I paid $2 for this. I looked it up. It should go for like 30 bucks. All right, like 25, 30 bucks, somewhere around there, if it works. And uh, like I've said it many times, but the hot rollers, these old, ugly, old school ones that look like you no know, one would want them and they throw away. These are the ones that go for good money. The ones that are more modern and updated looking, no one buys those. Or I mean, they do, but not for as good of money. So these really old school ones from the 80s and early 90s and all that seem to sell really well. So it's not too bad. Uh, let's see. I'll just start and work my way around. Okay, so at another sale, I saw this. It was interesting. Uh, it's a Garfield Hotspot Mug Warmer set. So. It is a Garfield mug, so it's white with his face on there. It's three-dimensional. The handle looks like his tail. And then for some reason, it sits on a donut that you plug in and it warms it up. It's all in there. It comes with a little mini comic book. And uh, yeah, here's that little mini comic book. Everything's in there. The, it looks like it was never, ever used. The, um, you know, the plug-in still has a little plastic cover on there. So that's pretty cool. All right, so anyway, uh, there was no price. I asked how much. She said, I don't know, how about a dollar? So I picked it up for a dollar. I should be able to get like 25 bucks out of this, okay? Maybe 30 free shipping, but I'll try to shoot for about 24.95 plus shipping because it's basically new, just the box is a little messed up, never been used. So that was a really, really cool find. And you can kind of see that a lot of these items I'm getting are not really over $30. I'm just trying to grab as much stuff as I can now that'll still be pretty decent so that when it slows down over the winter, I can do okay. Now this looks like an Alpine stereo, but it's not. But it hopefully will be a pretty decent clip. I might have paid a bit much for it. So this is a stock radio, out of, or well, it's not just a radio, but it's just the cassette player out of a Honda, I think it's a Honda Civic, uh, early 90s, like 92 to 96, somewhere around there, like early to mid 90s. And uh, I'll have to clean it up. I really don't know how to test it at all. So this is one of those items where I'll just sell it, and if it don't work, I'll just refund and then call it a loss. So the reason I think I paid a bit much is because I asked how much, she said $5. I thought it felt a little cheap to try to go cheaper than $5 on it. 
So I bought it, and when I looked it up, uh, one had sold for, it was either $25 or $29, I think it was $29, and it might have been plus shipping, I don't remember. So anyway, with mine, I think I could get, I think I'll try around $25, something like that, just make sure it's cleaned up, and maybe it will sell, maybe not. There was no others listed, the only one that I found was in the sold comps, and it had sold a little while back, within the last three months or so. So maybe just because I'd be the only one up, if someone's looking, you know, they'd go ahead and pay $25, maybe $30 for mine. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. And another, so actually the same sale where I got the um, hot rollers, I got another one of these, all right? So I showed this, what was the last video or so? Uh, the uh, cheapo Walmart grade New Bright remote control cars. Uh, I picked the one up where I'm selling the body off of it, and then I kept the charger and the battery, and I looked them up, and they're worth really good money. I had them listed, I think, for almost 25 bucks. Well, this one's slightly different. The other one I had was a 9 volt. This one is a 6 volt and has the battery. I will test it to see if it still holds a charge. If not, I can sell the charger alone. And um, anyway, I looked these up. Because it's kind of low voltage, just a 6 volt, you know, definitely older than the ones they would use nowadays, but maybe someone's looking for one. I think the combo of the charger and the battery, if the battery works, I could get about. $15, something like that. So, oh, by the way, I got this one for free. I gave her $2 for this, and she just gave this to me because she had no reason for it. She's just trying to get rid of stuff, so not too bad. So it's like a free 10 to 15 bucks, something like that. All right. At the second to last sale, so the very last sale on Friday, I bought that camcorder I found, and the sale before that, I found these. All right, so if you know anything about Rock Band and... Uh, uh, guitar Hero, you might realize that these are really sought after. Not the what they are is sought after, but these this version maybe not quite as much. These are for the Wii, but the ones that are for the was it PlayStation or Xbox, whichever one is wireless. When you use the guitars, you have to have a dongle to make it work wirelessly. All right, so these are the wireless dongles for Wii Rock Band. They had two of them. They actually had a whole. Uh, like Rubbermaid container full of Rock Band stuff for Wii, and then one was for, uh, I don't remember what it was for, but um, they had a couple of guitars in there, they had the microphone, the drum set, and then they had the game, and uh, anyway, the ones here for Wii, I looked them up, and each one is worth between 12 to $15. So for the combo, for two of them, which is how I'm going to sell them, I should get around 25 to 30 bucks. Uh, there was no price. I just pulled them out of the bucket and said, how much for these? And she's like, uh, I don't know. I said, how about a dollar each? She said, okay. So I got them for two bucks. Should be able to turn them for about 30. So that's pretty cool. All right. Uh, let's go with these because they're not super great, but they're not too bad. So I got two hats. One's better than the other. So the first one here, is Zebco, which I think is a fishing company. Aren't they the ones that make fishing line or something like that? I don't know, something fishing, I think. Uh, normally, I don't really buy a whole lot of hats anymore because they haven't been, some sell well, and then a lot of them I get don't do as well as I think. So this is probably gonna be one like that. But I think it is vintage, just really clean condition, just made in Taiwan, no real brand or anything. So I don't know if it'll do okay or not. But it is Zebco. And I looked up Zepco hats. I didn't find one exactly like this, but they were selling. I only paid a dollar for this one, and I could probably get maybe 15, 20 bucks, something like that. The main reason I got this is because of the cording here that definitely has that vintage look to it. So I don't think this one's modern at all. It's probably from the 90s, maybe 20 years old, 25, somewhere around there. So I don't know, maybe I could get more of it. Maybe I could get like 20, 25 bucks, but I figure eh, 15, 20, something like that. Okay, this one's way better. So this one is corduroy, all right? It's not really a snapback, but it's like a leather strap on the back, but I thought that's what was cool. Central Dodge. It's a little dirty, I have to clean it up. It's got some fuzz and stuff on there. But I think this is the type of hat that would do really well on eBay. Okay, it's definitely very vintagey looking. It's like a well-known brand Dodge. You know, it's not some, you know, Harvey's air conditioning or something like that. I wouldn't grab a hat like that, but this one's pretty cool. Just, just the color of the red, the patch on there that's like old school Dodge and then it's like, you know, a velour corduroy. I think that is the combo that's going to do well. So it was only $1. I have no idea where this is going to go. I'll probably try to list high and just see what happens. 
maybe it'd be stupid crazy to go for 70 80 bucks and I'm way out of my league trying to you know put it that kind of price maybe it's it's only a 15 20 dollar hat I don't know we'll just see where it goes but I kind of think I might be surprised it might go for a little more than I'm thinking so hopefully it can be pretty well with that uh, let's see at the very first garage sale I went to on Friday I picked up these boots I've sold some just like these before that were brown so I figured I'd get some black ones uh, these are actually right down the road where we live they were only two dollars these are women's Justin boots number 13532 and uh, I got them for two bucks and the last pair I sold was I think they went for forty dollars thirty five or forty dollars so I figure that's probably where these could go so anyway I, I had to clean them up they're kind of dirty actually they're a lot dirty all right so I have to make them look a lot better get good pictures and we'll see what happens see if I can get 35 40 bucks something like that Okay, this is interesting. This is the second pair I found. Now they were asking $15. This is at the same sale where I bought the two, the coffee table and the matching side table, and where I bought the Bionicles. I also got this. This is a pair of sunglasses, $15. Uh, the, it was eight o'clock on a Friday, which was the first hour of the first day of her sale. I, like always, I tried to get it cheaper and she would not budge. So I paid full price. I paid 15 bucks for these, but check it out. I don't know if you can read that or if you can read the side here, but these are Prada sunglasses. It's the second pair I found. So they're really high-end neighborhoods in town, which I don't think a lot of people around here where I live have a lot of money, but they're really high-end neighborhoods. Apparently they spend some money on things. So these are Prada sunglasses made in Italy. They got the numbers on there. I'll have to look it up. I couldn't find an exact pair like them, but uh, for $15, I think the last pair I had, I th they sold for, was it $59? Something like that. So I'm thinking these have the matching, the other pair was just glasses. These have a matching case. They look better. The other pair, I think, were, were they white or they were, I don't know, but these are like a tortoiseshell and they're branded way better and it has the cleaning cloth in there so these are a lot better condition i have no idea where they're going to go but i will assume at least fifty dollars but i don't know we'll see maybe i can go higher i'm, I'm kind of hoping i can find you know some comps that will be like 75 dollars 80 90 something like that so that'd be really really cool that'd be a great flip all right and then the last two items i found at an estate sale now i go to some estate sales but I'm a bigger fan of garage sales and even thrifting because the state sale price is always really high unless you go to the last day at the very end of the day when it's all picked over and you can get better prices. But the items I found I think can do pretty well, I think, even for the amount I paid. And I feel that I paid up for it. So the first one here is an old cap gun. Alright, so kind of cool. That's not in the best working condition, so you can, I don't know, the trigger's a little messed up, so I'm... I know there's people out there that are really into cap guns. They probably know exactly how to fix this. But it has a really cool looking handle on there. I don't know how old it is, but the main reason I grabbed it is because it's a daisy. All right, so when I think daisy, I think of BB guns, but apparently they made um, cap guns as well. Now they were asking $10 for this thing. So that seemed high, but I don't know. I looked up cap guns and uh, some of them go for really good money. We're talking like, I saw some that were selling for $75. I saw some that were like $120. I'm not sure this is going to be like that, but I think it could do quite a bit better than $10. So just a guesstimate, maybe $40, $35 to $50, somewhere around there, $40 something dollars. Who knows? I could be way off and it's worth more or maybe not. Maybe it's a big flop. I'm not sure, but I'll try it out. Uh, I'll even look into it because I'm not sure if I should clean it or just leave it alone. I'm not sure, but an old school daisy cap gun for 10 bucks a little bit high but kind of a cool item and then the coolest item of friday is this right here this travel case hard case and uh the back is all scratched up and has the really cool stickers on there now some of them were added and some of them i'm thinking they were actually printed on here so i'm kind of thinking this was maybe a travel case aimed at a kid Almost like, was it the last video I showed you the um, overnight bag that had Power Ranger graphic on there? I kind of think that maybe this is the same kind of item, but back in the day. 
So some of the stickers are added, like the Chicago sticker was added and Baltimore was added. But then the one here for Los Angeles, Statue of Liberty, Las Vegas, Delaware, Tijuana, California, uh, whatever these are, they, they feel like screen printed. So I'm thinking they were on here originally. And this one right here, and same thing with uh, this one for Pennsylvania. So I'm thinking it was actually designed like that. But this is, I don't believe that this is like a reproduction. I think it's the real deal. Because the people at the state sale had really nice stuff. It definitely looks really old inside. Now I paid $25 for this. So it was a little pricey. And I couldn't find anything like it at all as a sold comp. But I just kind of looked up vintage hard case, you know, travel cases. I looked up ones that had stickers. And it's just kind of a wild guess. It could totally bomb. But I think I'm going to try to get like $100 out of it. See if I can do like $100 plus shipping. Maybe even go higher. Maybe go $125 plus shipping. I don't, I mean, either someone's going to love that it's all scratched up and looks old. Or they're going to hate it and think it devalues it. I'm not sure. But I think it really is old. And I will try to shoot and make $100 out of it. I think it would be really, really cool. Okay, so that was the items that I found on Friday. So now, let me clear all these off, and I will show you all the stuff I got today. I got a whole bunch more today on Saturday. Okay, so Saturday, today, I did get one local item, and it says bike right here. And uh, anyway, I think the brand is Aftermath. And it's a Tony Hawk Park Series. So it's like a freestyle bike where you do tricks and things like that. And uh, the reason I thought this was interesting is because of the wheel size all right so i thought it was your standard kids bikes 20 inch but it's not it's bigger than that i think let me find it here i thought it was a 24 inch of course now i don't see it hmm. where was it yeah there we go 24 by 175 now it does need new tubes they said that the ones in there don't hold air but it was only 20 bucks so uh, I'll get new tubes, probably spend another five or uh, $10 for tubes, somewhere around there. So I'll have 30 in it. And I think I'll be able to flip it for $70, $80, maybe 90, but that might be a bit high. I'd have to really clean it up for that. They said it was $150 brand new. So that tells me it's not a real high-end bike, but it's not exactly a straight up cheapo Walmart bike either. So. I figure 70 or 80 dollars is probably what I get so I'll make about 40 or 50 on it and I don't know I've just never bought one with 24 inch wheels before I thought that was kind of cool so now I'll show you the stuff I picked up for eBay today all right so here are all of the eBay items I picked up today Saturday morning garage selling I found some really cool stuff uh, I guess I'll just kind of work my way around here so this right here is another printer this is an HP LaserJet P1102W when I saw it, I knew it had good value because I have another one that I have not listed yet. I've actually had this for a long time. I think I bought this back in like February, maybe, end of February. And it's one of them things I just, I've had it sitting up here in this room, kind of out of the way. I never think about it. I need to list it because it has pretty good value. This one I got dirt cheap. I think I got it for $6. But this one today, they were asking $15. I want to see if they could do a better deal, and they gave it to me for $10. All right, so I looked them up today, and uh, they're selling for between about $75 to $100, somewhere around there. So I should be able to convert. And this one has the, uh, all the cables to be able to test it. That one only has the power cord. That was one of the big reasons why I hadn't uh, done it yet, because I wanted to kind of test it. But I need to just get it listed and be done, because sitting around for a year is not doing me any good. I need to go ahead and just list it and take whatever I get out of it. Okay, so I believe that, uh, you know, I'll go ahead and plug them in, see if they hurt, turn on. I might even try running paper through them if I can figure out how to set them up to the computer. And if they work great, then I'll try to max out as much as I can, see if I can get that $100 or 110 or whatever the max is on them, okay? If I can't, if they don't work, then, you know, I'll sell them as parts. But if I can just turn them on, but I can't quite figure out how to actually test them out, then I'll probably go a little on the lower end. I'll try to get about $70, $80, something like that, so. Anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. I did ask them if it works, and they said, yes, it does. They just bought a new printer, so I'll take their word that it does work. The other one come from a uh, office that was closing down, so it's probably been used a lot. I doubt they would keep one around that was broken, so I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, those should turn into pretty good money. All right? Uh, okay, now this right here is interesting. Really cool mid-century modern uh, 
lamp here. It's got the old style cord. It comes off really easy. And the lady actually thought she broke it this morning when it come off. So she sold it to me really cheap. And then I looked at it and I was like, I think it goes like this. And I clipped it like that and she's like, oh yeah, it does. So she, she wanted more money out of it than, uh, than $10. That's what I paid for, which I kind of thought seemed to look maybe a little high, but I guess I'm just really cheap about buying stuff. She said that she was going to ask $25 or $30, but then when she thought she broke it this morning, uh, she decided to just ask $10 on it. Anyway, uh, she had a really cool house, mid-century modern. Her and her husband had this super awesome house. Just crazy colors. Everything they had, everything they had in this sale was mid-century modern. It was a retro tag sale is what they're calling it. It was not a standard garage sale. I thought it was going to be like an estate sale with crazy high prices, but it wasn't. They were actually very reasonable. Uh, I didn't even, I guess she gets asked all the time, but I, I don't really know too much about it. But um, she said, my husband is the guy that owns the big bike shop in town. And I was like, oh, okay, that, that makes sense why they have all this stuff. You know, they got some serious money. And I didn't say it, but I was thinking, man, I flipped a lot of bikes that he's worked on in the past, but I didn't say anything about that. So anyway... Got it for 10 bucks. She said this was probably a cheapo from Montgomery Ward, I think. Is that what she said? So, I don't know. Maybe not. I think she said Eric, most of the items they had for sale were from Sears and Montgomery Ward, and this was even cheaper than that stuff. So kind of like the, I don't know. Like nowadays you can go into Walmart or Target, you can find modern looking stuff, but it's like really kind of, you know, it's cheapo stuff that looks like the high end modern stuff. It's probably what this was. She figured like late 60s, somewhere in there. But uh, anyway, I'll maybe keep it. It'd look kind of cool, but if I don't have room for it, then I'll just flip it and we'll see if I can get what she was thinking, you know, 25 or 30 bucks, something like that. So I thought that was really cool. All right, and another sale. I saw this. I thought it was brand new in the package, and then I really started looking at it, and it has been opened. So, no big deal. Still has good value. So this is a, I think the brand, the actual brand is Universal Remote Control. It's the R7. Uh, I looked this up, and there was one that was pre-owned or used. It did not have the packaging. It did not have the CD or the manual or whatever that comes with it. It was just the remote. And it sold for $25 plus about $15 shipping. So it went for $40 used. I got this one for $2. has the other stuff. Um, it had a sticker here on the back that showed that uh, whenever they bought it, um, it was supposed to be $50, but they bought it for $37.50. But I'll see if I can get like $49.95 out of it, something like that. I think that'd be pretty cool. So, uh, you know, of course, I have to clean it up, test it, but I think it will work. So for $2, this should turn into $40 plus. Dollars. So that was a great find. Okay, at another sale, I just grabbed this because I just have a feeling it might do okay. It was only $0.25. Cents. As you can see, it's KU. It's uh, University of Kansas. I think it's the Jayhawks. It's like I think it's the big one in Kansas City that people talk about. But it is the mesh, you know, snapback trucker style. But what caught my attention is that it's a Nissan or Nissan or whatever. And I've seen that brand before. Um, unlike the hat I showed you earlier, that Zebco one that was just some generic made in Taiwan. This one is well. <laughs> It's made in Taiwan also, but it's Nissan. It's actually branded. The other one is not branded at all. But uh, uh, people actually look for these, so you know it has the good graphic. It's clean. It was dirt cheap. I think this one could. It's probably not going to go for great money, but I think it actually is vintage and it will sell. I don't know how much though. I would guess 15 to 30. It's kind of a big range. I'm hoping for like 20 something bucks out of it. So hat really easy to ship out. And this has a really cool vintage look. I don't think this is a modern repop. I think this is an actual vintage one. The foam's in good condition. It's not steamed up. So that's pretty cool. All right. Um, at the very last sale of the day, I found these. It's the first time I found some Chacos that I've been able to buy that was worth flipping. Now, normally, when I learned about Chacos, every time I've seen them mentioned, especially with Bonafide Hustlers videos, that's where I've heard of them before, also College Picker, every time they show them, they're showing the sandals. All right, so I didn't even know that Chaco made shoes. And then I saw these today, they're asking $25. I thought, hmm, okay, they know what they got, but there could be some value. 
They have been worn, but not much at all. There is a little bit of dog hair in them though, so I'm gonna have to clean them really well, make sure that they look good and they don't smell and all that kind of stuff, which they don't. I mean, they look like they're only worn a couple of times. Really, really good condition. I asked if they could do a better deal. The lady said, how about 20? So I decided to accept it because when I looked up comps, I saw a pair, I believe they were also used. They sold for 79 something used, like 79.87 or something like that. So basically used, I think I can get $80. That's with free shipping. They're light though. Um, these are actually small enough. I could probably put in a uh, um, flat rate bubble mailer, which it will uh, send out for $6.90. I'm pretty sure these will fit. So it should cost me $6.90 no matter where I send them in the US. Uh, so I'm in them for what, 27 bucks? That's pretty good. Hopefully I can flip them for you know, $75, $80, something like that. So that's not too bad at all. All right, uh, I guess we'll just go here. Got at the same, well not that same sale, but at a sale I got both of these. Um, I didn't know they had these, but they also had the little clips or magazines or whatever you call them. So these are little Nerf blasters. It's the Raider CS-35. They had two of them. I remember, I don't, I've never bought and sold Nerf before, but I know they can do really well. I haven't really studied up on them too much, but I do know that when they have the uh, big barrel uh, Gatlin gun looking thing for all the darts, that those are usually worth pretty good money. So I decided to get them. They had no price. I asked how much. The lady's like, I don't know, how about a dollar each? So I paid two dollars for both of these. It should be a really good flip. Now the problem is when I did research, pricing is all over the place and the value is in, seems to be in the barrel. But because I have you know, two, I think they're complete or they're close to complete. It seems like maybe they're supposed to have a stock or something. But I have all these parts. I might as well just try to sell them unless maybe these have good value on their own or something. I don't know. But I looked them up. I mean, some were selling for like $15 plus shipping. Others were like $30. I saw some that were like, there was one that was like $44. So they were kind of all over the place. And uh, I only have two in them. Just the barrels alone were selling for $20, all right? So the, the value is in the barrel, it seems. But since I have the whole thing, I will try to ship them out for, I don't know. Uh, I'll just have to look, but hope maybe I can get $40, $45 for both of them, something like that, maybe $50. I don't know. That might be a little high, maybe not. I don't know if they're totally complete or what, but I don't know. We'll see, maybe $50 free shipping or something like that. So I thought that was pretty cool for $2. All right, so at the sale where I bought the bike, I also got these vans. I thought these were really cool. They were asking $3. I tried working a deal with a lady where she told me the bike was worth $20, or she was asking $20 on the bike, and they were asking three on these. I said, if I bought them both, can I just do them both for $20? And for a lot of people, they would work that deal, but you could tell this lady knew, and I actually asked the um, her husband, when he showed up with the son who actually owned these, uh, I asked them, hey, would you do this deal? And they're like, let me go ask her. So she was definitely in charge of the sale and the pricing. And like, she was very, um, uh, very set on her pricing. She was, she was like, no, I can't do it. That's, that bike was $150 and uh, I can't do, no, I, I have to stick to my pricing. So I said, okay, I'll give you the $23. So um, anyway, I paid three bucks for these because they're in actually pretty good shape. I mean, I could clean them up, the rubber, make them look a lot better. Of course, they're Vans, high tops with American flag, which I don't think is that common. I mean, you see them out all the time, just solid red, solid blue, solid black, whatever. But I've never seen them like this. And again, it's one of them things where I've seen Bonafide Hustlers videos and he buys Vans and uh, trucks that have crazy designs that go for crazy prices. So I'm hoping that these can do pretty well. So I got three bucks in them. I have no idea what they're worth, but maybe $40, 50 $60, something like that, maybe. I don't know. I could be disappointed and they're like 20 bucks or 30 or something like that, but we'll we'll see. I'll try to go high and see if I can get, you know, 50 60 bucks, something like that. Okay, this right here. Oops. All right, so this right here I bought because it's cheap and it had a hunch. It's got good value. I could not find a comp. I'll have to do more research, but this is a bag, all right? So... You see me mention Bonafide or Bonafide Hustlers videos a lot. He also has really good guides out there. He has one for bikes to bucks. He has bags to bucks, and he just come out with shoes to bucks. They're all really good. Show you really good items to uh, um, look for and and what to turn away and you know brands to be aware of and all that kind of stuff. 
Well, this is, uh, this reminded me of, he has a section of like just like unusual bags, like a uh, one that is um, from Apple. You know, I mean, I doubt Apple made a whole lot of bags, but when it's branded and has the Apple and their little rainbow logo and all that, you could get pretty good money out of it. Well, this one, can you read that? It's Segway. So, yes, those little, or actually they're kind of big scooter things, the gyroscopic scooters that you ride around. This is a Segway bag, and if you look at it, it is designed to fit on the front post of the Segway. So this is like front and center, and it is actually Segway branded, so it's not some generic one. And you look inside, it's in really good condition. It has a thing that shows you you put your tools in here, so it's kind of like a tool bag and, and also just storage on it. Anyway, they had it sitting in this bucket for a dollar. So I couldn't find any comps, but there's no way that this is not worth way more than a dollar. So I'll have to look, but I'm guessing bare minimum, like $20, $25. I could be surprised. Maybe this thing's like a $30 bag, a $50 bag. Uh, who knows? But it's got to be way better than just a dollar. So I thought that was pretty cool. Man, I, <laughs> I am not doing good. I got too much stuff up here today. All right. And the last item is the find of the day. This is really cool. It's going to be kind of hard to show. And I've sold one of these before. As soon as I thought, I thought, man, there's money sitting right there. I hope the price is right because that's going to be a great foot. The last one I got was $15 and it sold for $90 or $95. So I saw this one and it had extra parts. I thought, boom, there we go. So check it out. It is another Cricut. All right, so it's a little scuffed up. I will clean it up. See, if, yeah, I can definitely get that looking better. And uh, it's just like the last one I had. This is a little bit older model. And uh, the lady said the reason she's selling it is because she upgraded to the newer model. It's exactly why the last person was selling theirs, but people still buy these, all right, because they're like dirt cheap compared to uh, what they were brand new. But uh, anyway, this is a Cricut. And as you can see, they're asking $40, okay? So I was thinking, well, there's still some value there. The last one I sold was like ninety or a hundred dollars, so okay, you know it could still do well. And then I noticed this sitting next to it. And check this out: Cricut cartridges, five dollars each. Okay, here's the, here's the power cord for the Cricut, and there was also some instruction manuals, which the last one only had it only had this paper. That was it. The one I just got today also has the instruction book. And then check this out. I believe that is 18 cartridges, five dollars each. I did the math. That is ninety dollars she was expecting to get out of these cartridges, and she wanted forty dollars off of the Cricut. So together, that is a hundred and thirty dollars. So I was thinking, oh, okay, that's maybe that's maxed out. I don't know. So I got on my phone when they were talking to someone else. I looked it up. I was like, wow, okay, cool. If I do a uh, combo here sell it all together as a bundle, I can get way more money. So I did see one that was the same uh, size Cricut. It was red though, which maybe bumped up the value a little bit instead of just plain white, but it had 25 cartridges and they were asking $275 plus shipping. And they took a best offer for 250 something plus shipping. And I think it was like $40 shipping. So that sold for almost $300, all right? That was a 25 cartridges. Now there are, I believe, 18 in here. I'll have to double check. But um, right before I just shot this video here, as I was bringing it up, I decided to look at my phone again to try to find that comp. And I saw a couple others. There was one that had, I think, I think 15 or 16 cartridges, and it sold for $211 plus $50 shipping, or $200 plus $50, which so was around $250. And then there was another one that sold for two, I don't remember how many cartridges it had. It had less than I have, though. It was like eight cartridges or something. And it sold, I think it was 245 or 250 free shipping. So basically, it probably, you know, $40 shipping. It probably went for like 190 200 something like that. So anyway, I don't remember if I said how much I got it all for. So it should have been 130 I paid $100. I asked, well, if I bought it all, could you do a better deal? And I'm thinking, okay, I could probably do 100 maybe I could do a little less, something like that. And uh, anyway, she's like, well, how about $100? And I thought, you know what, I'm not going to argue that. That sounds really good to me. I don't want to lose the deal. So I paid her 100 bucks for this. And uh, because I have the 18 cartridges, and I, I mean, I have to test it out, make sure it all works. But I think it could go for really, really good money. So I 
Man, I don't even know. I'll, I'll see if maybe I can ask. Maybe about 220, 230, somewhere in there. 225 plus shipping. Or maybe like a 260, 270 free shipping. Just go a little bit higher than the other one, see if I can get it. So that should be pretty cool. So it would be a little tricky to uh, send that one out. It's going to be an odd shaped box. It's going to be pretty heavy. But uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe on this one I'll make the buyer pay shipping. So I'll go like two, 225 plus shipping, something like that. So that should be a great flip on my $100. So anyway, that was all the items I bought the last couple days since, uh, what, Thursday. I bought a ton of stuff, so I got a lot of work ahead of me. And I did have a couple sales, but I'm just going to go ahead and wait till uh, tomorrow in case anything else sells. And I'll show you the sales over the weekend, which has been kind of low, but at least I bought really cool stuff. And uh, I don't know. We'll see where the rest of this weekend goes. All right, so now the weekend is over, and I had a few eBay sales, and I did have the local sale. And I'll show you that and close out the video. So it's probably been way too long. I might have to end up splitting it into two parts. Okay, so I did have a local sale. I was unable to show it on video. The people showed up many times. It's happened before. They show up before we're scheduled to. So I was like, ah, you know, I'm scrambling to get it out. But uh, anyway, it was that mid-century modern table with the four chairs. I got at a garage sale a couple of weekends ago. I paid $45.00. And it was a table that had these butterfly ends that could come up and then you could see you know six people and then it could expand with two leaves to go to eight people the table is in great shape the chairs needed to be reupholstered and then one of them had a little chip section on the back really not that bad i sure thought i was going to get like you know 120 dollars 140 something like that because it was a pretty cool looking table but it didn't happen. So then I had it, I dropped it down to $85. I just wanted someone to buy it, just be done with it. Just, you know, basically double my money or almost double my money and uh, be done. So anyway, uh, a lady contacted me and said, hey, me and my husband likes to come check it out. So they showed up, they looked at it, they liked it, and they offered $65 instead of the $85. I paid $45. I was running through my head. I was like, I just want to get rid of it. I'm just going to do it. I'm not going to counter. I just want to be done, not lose the sale. So I sold it for 65 bucks. So that ended up being a big flop. I mean, I made 20 bucks, but that was it. That was terrible for, I mean, it was pretty nice for what it was. They got a good deal. So anyway, I made uh, 20 bucks on that. Okay, as far as eBay sales, I'll show you what sold. First thing here, I did not think it was gonna be that good of a buy when I got it, and it really wasn't, but it was new. So I knew it had some value. I found this at a garage sale. Um, it's a, I think a neighborhood garage sale, and it's a Logitech wireless M205 mouse, brand new sealed. Uh, I got it at a garage sale for five bucks, so it was a little high because I looked at comps. I knew it wasn't go wasn't going to go for too much money, and uh, anyway, it sold for fourteen ninety five plus four dollars and eighty cents shipping, which is a total of nineteen seventy five. So basically twenty dollars. That's about what I thought it was worth. And I decided to grab it just because it was new. I figured it probably would sell. It did take a while though. Okay, this is a great flip here. I really, really like selling these. They do well, especially this time of year or in spring. And that is this jacket. It is a vintage Reebok nylon windbreaker jacket from like the 90s. I mean, you can see the color scheme on it is pretty cool. It just says Reebok on the side. There's nothing on the back, nothing on the sleeves which would make it worth more money. But uh, the only problem with this one is the interior is, eh, you know, it shows some wear, some discoloring, and it's bright white. It's getting a little beige looking. And then some of the elastic around the waist and then the one of the sleeves was kind of worn out. So uh, anyway, I still got great money for it. I paid 25 cents for it at a garage sale and it sold for $45 free shipping. So that was a cool find. Okay, here's another one. Got this at a oops, got it at a garage sale for eight dollars. This is an older Carhartt jacket, but with like a southwestern Aztec style stripe across it, which is pretty cool. And uh, really good shape, not too worn out. Maybe just a little bit of wear along some of the edges, which I think is what you want. You want that kind of you don't want it like worn out looking, you want it worn in looking. And uh, I mean, interior's in great shape. But anyway, it was only eight bucks. When I looked it up, I was like, wow, these things are worth really good money. So I had it at $74.95 free shipping. And it took a while because I bought it in the summer. But now that it's just about to come fall, it sold. 
for $74.95 for e-shipping. So that's a great turnaround as well. Okay, this last one might be hard to show. This right here. I think I have it all, yeah, I have it all bubble wrapped up. You're not going to be able to see it, so I'll just show a picture. But this is that Vitamix I just picked up, oh, what was that, maybe three weekends ago, something like that, four weekends ago. Uh, Vitamix Professional Series 500. Um, it was at a, a moving sale, we'll say. It was, they basically had it posted with all the garage sales, but they were moving. They are getting rid of stuff. They were making deals because they didn't want to take it with them. They said they bought this brand new for $600. And uh, anyway, they were asking, they didn't really have a price, so I was looking at it. I was like, hey, are you interested in that? I was like, yeah. He said, uh, I'd take uh, 150 for that. So I was thinking, okay, 150 that's got to be worth more than that. So then there was other people in the sale, so he walked away to go talk to someone else. So then I looked up, my phone was like, whoa, okay, this thing's worth really good money. And, uh, you know, 150 is a good deal, but I should see if I could get it better. So um, he come back and I'm still looking at it. And he's like, well, here, let me show you how it works. So he plugs it in. He showed me it worked. You know, sounds good. Doesn't have any issues at all. It was a little bit dirty. I was able to clean it up after I bought it and brought it home. But uh, anyway, uh, he was, uh, I said, so you said 150. Could you do a better deal? And he's like, well, it's my wife's. And she said her bottom number would be 125. I said, how about $100 right now? I'll buy it and you don't have to take it with you. Move in. He said, sold. So I got it for 100 bucks. And uh, anyway, it just sold last night for $295 plus free shipping. So that'd be a great turnaround. It's not that heavy a box, but it doesn't really matter what it costs to ship because I'm going to make, you know, three times what it sold for. So um, let's see, it sold for $300. I got $100 in it. That brings me down to $195, probably $20, $25 shipping, something like that. And I'll have to pay some fees on top of that. So I'll still make like... $150 or something like that, something around there, but uh, that's a great flip. So anyway, that was the flips and finds of the weekend. Like I said, this video probably got crazy long, so I'll probably have to split it into two different videos. But anyway, if you like what I'm showing, go ahead and hit a uh, thumbs up on it, leave a comment what you think, and if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and, to, and uh, do that and let me know what you think. Also, I'm considering slightly changing up how I do the videos because they seem to be getting longer and longer and longer, so I might try to divide them up several per week so it's a little easier to take in and uh, then that's not so crazy when I'm editing this huge video it takes forever to upload and all that kind of stuff so I might do that so anyway go ahead hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done it so anyway thanks for checking it out